This is the tale of family storytelling, and the focus here is on my seven-year-old granddaughter Maya, who just bursts with stories. She's not unlike her great-grandmother Sue, an Italian-American storyteller who could take the floor with her dramatics. Once at a book party for my new novel, Maya, at age four, showed up with an announcement. Grandpa, I have a book too. And later at the coffee house gathering, she recited from folded sheets of blank paper the story of two spiders at a fair. It is a January night, and my wife and I are sitting with our two granddaughters while their parents are away. The girls are already in their pink pajamas. Oh, 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 you definitely write in the room when you walk in. <laughs> Do you guys eat each other's food? Okay, girls, it's time we went up to bed. Now, Grandpa, you take up Maya, okay? And I'll take up Alyssa. Sure, that's good with me. Okay, Maya? Yeah, I'll beat you up the stairs. Wow, this surely is a nice room, honey. And so girly. Well, I am a girl. Oh yeah, I forgot. I lie across the bed on the left side as Maya goes to her closet. She's retrieving something. These are my stories. She climbs in bed beside me and hands me her book. Her handwriting and line drawings are spread across the white pages. The spelling is as original as her characters. First is about a rude bunny who must learn to say she's sorry to her friends, especially her older sister. She turns the page and I look up into her eyes. Yes, I wrote it about Alyssa. I just nod. Aha. Uh -huh. And how are things going at school? Oh, Grandpa, four boys in my class have crushes on me, but I only like one, Parker. I smile at this thinking of her age and mine, and I welcome this moment of sharing with her. You know, I was just nine years old when I got my first kiss. You mean not from your mother or dad? Yes, my first kiss from a girl. <laughs> I remember I was in fourth grade. Let's see. I'd be as old as some of the girls and boys in your piano recital today. I was at a birthday party and we played kissing games. Can you believe it? She turns to look at me and I say, Spin the bottle. Did you ever hear of that? <laughs> really? Yes, and we were only fourth graders. Tell me what happened. Did you have to kiss a girl? Well, yes, I did. A cute blonde girl named Shirley May. How did you do it? Well, it was very lightly like this. Hey, have you ever kissed a boy? Her eyes get big as she smiles, but shakes her head. No, Grandpa. She is such a sweet girl, and I wonder if I'm going too far with this talk of kissing. I know she will tell her mother my daughter, and I'll surely hear of it. Wait, I have another story. This one's a secret. These are two snow people. He is a snow boy and she is a snow girl. Oh, I see. We don't need words. I'll tell you their story. 
You see, he asks the snow girl if she likes him, and she tells him no. Ah, I get it. A sad story. Wait, it's just begun. See here, this is the rejected snow boy. Only he's now with another snow girl. Ah, he's found someone. But look, that's the first snow girl, and she notices them. Trouble is coming. But now look, another snow boy appears and gets attention from snow girl too. And see, they go off together. Wow, that's a surprise. But now the first snow girl turns to snow boy, and she says, "Yes, I did like you." Maya looks over at me, and I nod my head. Wait. She smiles and turns to the last page. The two snow people are kissing. We laugh together, and then I notice something. Maya, what are those things? Guess, Grandpa. Guess. Uh, I'm sorry, but I give up. Those are their noses. They had to take them off to kiss. <laughs>